Western Rome is on the verge of collapse, and it's up to us to save her. Can we change history and maintain the glory of Rome through many years to come? Or will history repeat itself and the disgusting barbarians will conquer Rome like they did many years ago. Welcome to our newest campaign, guys. What's up? Hope you're doing well. Uh, so I don't usually do campaigns, but I am moving. I'm in the process of moving into a new house. And it's quite the process, especially when you have potbelly pigs. Uh, so there might be many weeks or days, hopefully not weeks, but days where I'm not around my computer and I can't record. So I wanted to go ahead and record a bunch of campaign episodes just for, you know, something for you guys to chew on until I have time where I can record some battles again or whatever, you know, record the typical stuff. So I do appreciate your understanding, guys, and I hope, hey, maybe you, you'll find this more exciting than what what I usually upload which is awesome too uh, I do appreciate the support if you guys are enjoying this playthrough or you're excited about it be sure to let me know by leaving a comment and liking the video so what are we doing here well we're playing as Western Rome it's a very challenging legendary campaign we're playing on very hard but there's more we're using a mod that makes it way more challenging it's called like super smart AI it's like a collection of mods there's a link down to the collection in the video description if you want to play along and use those mods it basically makes it way more challenging uh, where there's supply lines winter is uh, way more harsh uh, the AI is more selective in terms of battles and like they're just smarter so it's gonna make it insanely difficult do I plan on winning this campaign no I don't plan on winning but I'm gonna try and it's that struggle you know that's the fun of it so it, again like I said if you're excited about this playthrough you think this is a cool idea let me know maybe this will do very well and I will try other campaign challenges which I think will be uh, very fun. Maybe playing like Napoleon, like the campaigns of Napoleon. I don't know. We'll see. But let's get started, guys. Let's do it. The air was filled with smoke and blood. The Roman Empire was divided. From the pillars of Hercules to the far reaches of the Adriatic, the Western Empire stretched. Sacred Earth, where men of greatness conquered. But those who followed neglected Rome, fighting over the scraps of past glory. cast aside their petty differences or succumb to barbarous darkness. And behold a red horse, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. Romans of the Western Empire, those noble sons of the Eternal City. The time had come to restore power to Rome. They made ready for war. Hell yeah. It was the will of the late Emperor... Alright, I don't need your advice. Okay, I got this. So, uh, our first mission is to survive. That's pretty easy. Survive until uh, spring 400, and we'll get a thousand gold. So uh, I think the first thing I'm gonna do is kind of consolidate my forces and my territories, and make sure I, we definitely want to hold on, obviously, to Italy. I don't think I'm gonna shrink all the way up to it, into Italy. You know, like I what what I plan on doing is going over to the British Isles and just maybe giving away all these cities I don't need it I don't want it 
maybe we can use these cities as negotiation with the nearby factions. You know, we can give them away. And we just need to consolidate our forces. Now, our economy is fantastic. We have 35,000 gold. We're making 7,000 gold per turn. Our food is great. I mean... <sighs> There's really nothing to complain about here. I mean, the start isn't that bad. We're going to go into Civic uh, first, and that's going to help with Corruption. I definitely think I'm going to focus most of our tech around Civic at the start of this playthrough. So, uh, yeah, everything's looking good. Now, if we get a glance at... If we can look at the armies here. Here is all of our armies. So, we have the... Okay, so... We've got one, two, okay, you're in Spain. You're in northern France, sort of. Let's see. You're, okay, you're kind of, okay. You're you're the far eastern army. You're kind of in the middle there. we got one army in North Africa. And then we have the very last army over here in um, the British Isles. Okay, so... Not too many armies, nothing, you know, nothing too crazy that we have to kind of look over. But I'm, what I'm thinking is, I'm probably going to send this army, let's send them all the way back to London. We're going to send them down there. They're going to head back to the mainland, Europe. And we're going to keep them here to help defend our border. Now, I think I'm going to keep the army in Spain. Uh, just kind of like, just a guard army, national guard, I guess is what you could call it. To, de to defend Spain uh, in the south again same thing with this North African army to uh, you know just defend North Africa in case it's under attack all these armies here though they are going to defend our eastern border against the barbarian invaders we just need to kind of beef them up but we don't want to do it too much to where they are you know uh, Ca causing us to bleed a lot of money. So we got to be very smart, very wise about what we select and who we pick and whatnot. So first off, we got some upgrading to do. It looks like the generals have a lot of experience here. Uh, we're looking for anything that, let's see, probably we're going to be defensive at first, I assume. We could be super aggressive, but I think I'm going to go with defense. Morale is always a plus. Let's see, mor uh, melee attack authority plus one. That's pretty good. I think I'm going to go with um, the morale. That's always a huge help there. So that army's been leveled up. Let's go ahead and level up this one as well. Uh, again, I'm just that morale, especially on very hard. Uh, sometimes, it, I don't know. I, I think the AI... So the thing about this mod is that the AI... The mod for the AI has made it smarter. As in, it doesn't rely on the basically the AI cheating. I don't know if that's true for sure. Let's see. Oh, do you have two skill points? Oh, wow. You have a lot of skill points. Hello. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and get that all the way up. And see, melee defense. That's really good. Now, that's melee. Hold on. Melee defense for commander's unit. That's good for the... This is good for the commander's unit. I'm actually... You know what? I want more general um, army-wide. So we'll go there. We'll up that to two. We'll do that. And we got one more army. This is the northern North African army. Go ahead and do that. Boom. Okay. So the armies are set. And it's going to... These first initial turns are going to take a while, guys. Because I need to relearn the interface here. I need to really look at everything I have and try to make sure I... Oh my god, everyone is upset. Everyone is upset. Okay. So, here's all our provinces. Um, it's quite a lot. We need to figure out how we can improve their happiness. Now, what I'm thinking about doing is... Let's see. Ooh, my power is not good. Not good at all. What can we do? Do we have anybody here? Let's let's get some people in some offices here. Now, if we get them into... Let's see, I guess we can put you in Tribune of the People. Okay. See, th this is where I'm going to struggle, guys. I guess I'm going to throw these men into these positions. Their loyalty is decent. 
It looks like they're all 6 out of 10. But I don't think I have anybody who can get the Master of Offices or the Supreme Commander or anything like that. So we're going to leave that be for now. All right, so what can we do to improve people's happiness? Again, the provinces are all very upset. Very upset. So I'm thinking what we can do is maybe have the tax le level go down. That's going to severely, severely hurt our economy. But again, we're th we're still 3,700. Let's see if we go all the way low. Okay, we're negative. We can't do that. So I'm going to go up one. So this is my first initial decree in terms of making these people uh, happy. Um, so instead of being negative 40, this is our worst. Where is this? Okay, that's of course. So they're going to be negative 10 thanks to the change in tax level. So that's good. That's really good. Um, man, okay. So we got that set. Let's do some diplomacy, shall we? Now let's see who, who likes us and who doesn't like us. Well, we have a lot of enemies. We have a military uh, alliance with the Eastern Romans. That makes sense. So the Geats don't like us. Let's see. How did the... Do you guys... You guys hate us, but... Can we give them territory? I'm curious. Speak quickly and well. Let's see. Is there give territory? Because I know some total wars you can do that and some you can't. Um, join war. No. No. This is this is not good. Okay. Range marriage, non aggression pact, trade agreement. Well, can we trade? No, they're not gonna agree to that. Why even ask? Join war, defensive alliance. No, no. I was hoping we could trade the territories that we have to make them like us. Is there a way? Like, I guess what I could do is just simply ignore these cities. Uh, and just maybe they'll revolt. Maybe they'll be conquered. I don't know. Um, but I'm not going to worry about those too much. So, let's go to the provinces here and see basically what we're going to upgrade first. Or think we got plenty of food, so things that will improve happiness. Uh, sanitation's good. Um, this doesn't... Public order, plus five. A Latin church, boom. So, we're going to improve that. Let's see, what can else can we improve? Public order, growth, that's, this is all good things. Food consumption, minus 20 though. And this also, maintenance cost 600. Now keep that in mind, that's, that's, that's going to add up. That's going to add up to a lot. So now that I think about it, we got to be very strategic in terms of what we pick to improve public order. See, this will help us make wealth. Ah, jeez. Okay. All right. So we're going to go to province to province and try to make them as happy as possible. Again, I'm starting to think of maybe giving up the North African territories. I might just give them up. But we'll see. We'll see what we can build here to improve their happiness. Uh, this will improve happiness. So we'll go with that. It's going to cost us some food. Well, hold on. You know what? We can actually build a cattle herd, and that will up food by 40. So we're going to go with that, and we'll go to the next territory here. Let's see. What else can we build here? Public order plus 10, food consumption minus 30. We have so much food, though. We could try to get wealth, but that's going to hurt, hurt public order. We don't want that. So we want that. We want that public order going up. So that's our that's our goal. Now, are we out of money already? Holy crap, we are kind of out of money already. <laughs> All right, so how can we save some money? Because we lowered taxes. I want to build, let's see, okay, hold on. Let's just see where else we can build. I'm just gonna go through here. Some places we can still build. Oh, I see. We can expand upon. Mm, well. They're just going to have to wait because we don't have the funds. We need to figure out how to make more money. And the way to do that, I think, is going to be... How are we going to do this? Well, we can combine forces together. Right? I mean, have less armies. 
Maybe combine generals together. Take the best units. These, I... It looks like the armies are all identical. Pretty much. Hmm. Okay. So I think I'm going to remove an army here. So we have like two armies very close by to each other. And I know if I delete an army, if I disband an army, they probably will get very upset. But I think I'm going to disband everyone here. And I'm going to move you guys to merge with them. Oh, that's right. You can only have... Uh, yeah, it does. It did make them upset, but only a little bit. Okay, so we've basically removed an army. I'm gonna, Like I said, I'm going to get the Cav in this new army. I'll probably disband the General. Which... Who is this person, by the way? I want to know... Is there a way that I can quickly look at his... General detail. He's pretty... He's alright. Family tree. Oh, that's what... That's right. That's right. He's, uh... Wait. Is this... Where is he? Okay, so I was just making sure that he wasn't, like, of the royal family. I didn't want to remove him. I'm, I'm going to disband him, uh, soon. But... Again, I want to. I want them to converge there. So that helps us. We, we're now making four thousand five hundred. That's pretty good. Um, is there anything we can remove here? I, we'll leave this army. But for now, let's let's end the turn and see what happens. Oh, we can assign a governor. Oh, nice. Okay. Well, where do we want a governor most? Probably. In Italy right this is where we want a governor we'll put you there yeah we obviously want this the heart of our our nation the happiest so having a governor there I think is smart his loyalty is 6 out of 10 it's not terrible we can now select an edict and look how happy they are here in Rome that's that's really good maybe we shouldn't have gone to Rome <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't have put a government because they're already so happy. But let's select an edict. Let's see. Research rate 10%. Religious influence plus one Latin Christian. Yes. Corruption minus 10. Religious influence minus six for non-Latin. Ooh, that's really good. We can kind of regain the religion here and try to kick out n anyone who's non-Latin Christianity. And corruption. I mean, that sounds really good. Public order, food production, plus 30. Food's pretty good. I'm going to go with the minus the minus corruption. I think that's going to be the safest bet. Let's go ahead and... Oh, we can assign another governor. Okay, where else do we want to, to kind of have... You know, another, another governor. I guess maybe South Magna... Let's see, who do we got? Put an 18 year old. Wait, is this guy? No, 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 that's not their age. My bad. Let's see, we'll put the 21, 21 year old there. There we go. So we have two governors in Italy. And then we can, let's see, yeah, we can now assign an edict. Um, same, same thing. Let's uh, stop the corruption. Actually, you know what? Let's go for public order. Let's go for public order because they're quite upset here. So we need to try to fix that. Oh, we can assign another governor. Okay, cool. So what is it? Okay, so again, we're going to we're gonna branch out from Italy in terms of these governors. We want a strong center. All right, who can I add? Oh, I don't have enough money. Okay, so I can't. I can't assign another general. All right, we're going to have to wait. I forgot assigning generals cost money, but we're going to have to wait. And now we get to see the chaos unravel. And we are at war with a few factions, and we're just going to let it fall. I mean, we could fight this, but I don't even care. I will let these fall. So we're just going to auto-resolve. We'll take a uh, defensive stance. 
And let's see what happens. Okay, I think we lost. <laughs> I think we lost. Close to feet. All right, they lost a ton of men, though. Holy crap. All right, we do have, like, a uh, nomadic army going through our lands. That's okay. They're not at war with us, I suppose. Uh, I think... I think one thing is we need to unify our culture. I think we have so many cultures in the Roman Empire Enjoy right now. Quiet time. Dude. It ends now. The storm is really coming. a storm of blood to wash you away. Uh, so we have the Gipeds, the Gipeds. Their ally is the Ostrogoths, and. We have, a, well, we have a couple allies. So we'll call in our allies for help. And they joined it. So there we go. So war is already unraveling after the first turn. Alright, this one we're definitely going to have to fight. So we're going to fight this one on the battlefield. Let's do it. Okay, here we are. Nice little settlement here. Love the settlement because the town center is right in this, like, <laughs> former arena that's now turned into a marketplace so it's pretty easy to hold uh here's their forces over here i think they do have another force over on the other side as well so we're gonna kind of let them come in and we will well let's see we could set up a barricade here so how many we got four more barricades so we might as well well is that the only barricade we can deploy I guess so. I guess we can put some traps down. Uh, we'll put some stakes down over here. Prevent uh, cab charges. Uh, I think I'm going to let the enemy come in here. We'll do some spike traps. Let's see where else can we do some. I guess we'll put some spike traps here. And we got some cow traps. Which I guess we'll put behind the stakes. Or we can put them up here. Why not? So, that looks good. Here's our army. This is what we're going to do. Wait, we don't really have archers. Okay, so the garrison force is extremely depleted. We'll put them in the guard mode. They'll, they'll be the rear guard. Let's put some javies up on this barricade here uh, we'll have some cohorts let's check out these units here pretty cool god a lot of barbarians in the army <laughs> makes me sick uh, let's see what else can we hold I guess we can hold up here I'm just trying to strategically try to think this out think this through we'll put some units here Okay, we'll hold like that. Javis, use that high ground, support the infantry. Definitely got to watch the center. We don't really have, let's see. Yeah, oh wait, we can put a barricade here. Oh, you know what? Okay, hold on, hold on. We're going to we're going to remove the cow traps and we're going to put a barricade. Oh, I guess we can only do one barricade. That's my bad. That's my bad. Then we'll put that back. So, now we're going to call in the rear guard and set up their defenses. So, we'll have uh, you guys hold here. Like so. We'll put some archers on here as well. And cav is going to be pretty important. We'll keep the cav in the back. And the rest of you guys, you are going to hold the capture point. Actually, you know what? I got a better idea. Let's move you guys here. Like so. And we'll put uh, a swordsman unit with you. To help out and hold. We'll have the general. This is the commanding general. You are going to hold the town center. So if it comes down to it, you must hold. You'll have some rear guard with you. And you also have... Let's see. We also have another unit of cav. Which we'll move with the rest of the cav. And then we have some javies, which I'm going to move, I guess, here at the center line. Here, we'll, we'll move these guys down a little bit. 
so my javies have a better shot so that's gonna be my defensive formation let's see how it plays out let's start the battle okay here you go Germanic Br oh brigands you will die all right so there is a way they can charge up this way and get behind us We'll see what happens. Maybe my cab can kind of use it here. Hopefully. Oh, wait. Did I move my... Oh, I'm in... Wait. What? How did I do that? I did a... I did a dumb... Did I not put... I thought I put my javies up here. That's okay. We'll just put my infantry up here. Get up there, boys. You have... Yeah, you have skirmishing capabilities. My hope is that they don't come up here. It looks like they are full charging here. That's good. Arrow tower opening fire. You will not take Rome. Rome will not fall to you. Dramatic bows. That's a little scary. I definitely want to try to take out those bows if I can. It looks like they are all charging in this way. That is fantastic. If that's the case... Hmm. You know what? Cav... Let's have you go this way. I have an idea. Alright, so they ran through the stakes. They actually, we killed some cav? Nice. We actually killed a lot of cav. They just ran them in. There we go. Battle has begun. They're already breaking because of their casualties to the traps. That's perfect. more cav coming this way okay i might peel a unit of swords yeah i think i am we need to send reinforcements over to this side we'll leave these troops to watch the rear but it doesn't look like they are coming this way um mm, if that's okay we're gonna mm, i don't know if this is gonna be uh, you know what we're gonna go for the javis i wanted to go for the archers but the the ai, AI is being smart and they have some uh some levy protecting them they're charging over on this side as well. It's a weak defense here. You know what? Let's send more bodies up here. We can't fall just yet. Reinforcements are here, fellow Romans. Oh, my troops. Let's get you in loose formation. Oh, look at them moving back already. All right, we're going to try to run down these javies, and then we're going to try to get behind here as well. we got to be careful of our own traps, though. Oh, no, they're coming back. These guys are nuts. We should break them here. Yeah, die. Alright, since they're not... Well... Let's see, let's, let's kill them. Uh-oh. They're starting to break here. Alright, we are under attack here, but guess what? We can use this unit to flank. Archers fire at them. Charge them. Oh, this is not good. Not good at all. Alright, we killed them. I'm actually going to take my cav and push this way. Let's take these swords. I'm actually going to send you to this front. We need more bodies. Mm -hmm. I might fall back, actually. I don't know what to do. Yeah, I'm gonna fall back. I'm gonna try to fall back as many units as possible. Uh-oh. I don't think they're gonna make it. Oh, we broke over here too. All right, Cav, sit still. Come on, swords, get back here. Javis, I told you to fall back. My goodness, this battle is not going well. It's up to my general to be the, the hero. So you attack against infantry. Let's form a wall here, boys. Alright, yeah, I should have been using my formation. That's right, general's doing what he needs to do. It's up to my general to hold... 
Who's shooting? Is that my calf? Oh, wait. They've got archers over here, but they're being protected by spears. God. Alright, I don't want my calf to get hit. Is this really all that I have? All right, we got to try to pull off some hammer and anvil. Ah, the general's watching my calf. Nope, I'm not going to engage. All right, I'll charge. I'll charge these. These brigands here. This should be easy to kill. Enemy units have returned to the battle. The Do you guys have an angle on anyone? Let me get them a little closer. Come on, kill them. They're sending in their calf. go all right beautiful beautiful this is going to give us an opportunity here oof man this is going to be t very difficult this battle is not going well all right come on look at him run away his archers already i want to try to get the archers while they're out in the open Oh, of course you return. That's right. Go get them, boys. All right, General. I'm sending in some support. Support the General Charge! You boys move up. You're next in line. You're like, oh, God, we're next in line. There we go. Nice charge. Can you focus down the general? Nice. Archers have been broken. The spears are coming after us, so we're gonna... The AI is actually playing quite... S oh, no. Skirmishers. Easy. Alright, I think at this point we're just gonna have to hammer an anvil. Oh my god. The spears. Are they going to stop my calf? Hold there. Don't go after me. Don't be smart. Quickly, calf. We got to get the other archers. Are we kill their archers. That's going to be a huge threat gone. No, 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 no. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. There we go. Okay, the archers are closing in. Go get them, get them, get them, get them. He's, he's counter charging me with archers. The mad lad. Wow, his general has barely been even wounded. Or not wounded, but it like depleted. All right, archer's gone. It's not really helping our balance of power. This is this is the Hail Mary right here. Enemy forces have struck our general down. No, my general died. My general died. That's probably that's probably a battle. That is probably battle. Let's send in some some troops to bring some help here. Nah, my calves breaking. Don't you break on me. Hold on, maybe we can pull off a miracle here. We just broke some some axes. 
That's huge. Can I still rally? All right, that's all my cav. Dang, man. All right, there's really not much I can do here. If I could go back, uh, I probably would have role-played less and just have hold here and here, maybe. Like, these two areas, but I don't think I did too bad. Man, yeah. Let's see, though. Well, there's, there's troops breaking. So we're just going to fast forward through this because, like I said, there's not much we can do. We have a bunch of swordsmen against their spears, which is a good sign. But the biggest threat is the general. And, ah, uh, there's the the chain route. A valiant defeat. That's, that's going to be it for us. Dang, man. So just like that, we lost an army. But here's the good news. Way less money. <laughs> Way less money. So... It is what it is. We just need to, uh, we might have to do a little scorched earth and regroup. So I noticed that their best unit was their general and then the axes. So if we see axes on the battlefield, we might want to try to go for them. Oh, did they liberate them? Oh, okay. Look to your gods and pray for only- Okay, war has been declared. We will call in our allies to help us. I don't know how much help they're going to be. So that's North Africa. Oh boy. Killed in battle. Yes, we will remember him for many more years. Uh, political obstruction. When one is climbing the greasy pole, there is... <laughs> Alright, so we don't have much control. We need to try to gain more control. So... We don't want to. We don't want to lose control here. Let's see, decree. No man can ignore the will of his warlord. What can we do? Influence minus fifteen. We don't want to lose influence either. I guess. Political favors. Quintus Aurelius. Um. Okay, so I'm not sure exactly what happened there, <laughs> but uh, that's okay. So we lost some territory. We lost some territory in the north as well, but that's okay. We're going to get the heck out of here. Let's get out of here. You guys can have the British Isles. It's all yours. It's all yours. Now let's get this guy mixed in with here. We're going to give you the extra calf. You, sir, guess what? You get to retire. You get to retire. We hunger for now, my generals are constantly gaining skills here, which is great. Let's go ahead and get that morale. And you... You need to replace the general that just died. So, where exactly... I guess they're pushing down here. So, we need to get... We need to get more forces down here. Again, I don't mind losing territory. It's kind of like, where do I draw the line? We kind of need some troops in Greece. I mean, there's the Western Empire. Or uh, the Eastern Empire, excuse me. Yeah, let's just get you going headed down. So we'll send him down here. Garrison. And we're making great money, especially because we lost an army, essentially. So let's see if we can recruit some units. Oh, really? Just spears? That's all we can recruit? Okay. Well, we'll hold off on recruiting. The rest of the money we'll spend on our provinces. And let's, let's try to... I want to make... Let's see. You're building. You're building. I want to try to sprinkle the love around. You know? Spread the love. Anything that will improve public order. Boom. We got to go for it. We got to go for it. Let's see. Over here, we're kind of hurting. I mean, we don't have any money anymore. Now, we can assign a governor. So, we have another skill here. Give you that. There you go. So, let's get a governor. Like I said, let's put it in the V word, Ventia. 
I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but I'm probably not. And we'll put you here, and we will put in... Uh, I guess... I don't really want to put in a 16 or 18-year-old. I'll put in the 20-year-old. There we go. Perfect. That might be a good spot to, to kind of hold there, you know? And let's go ahead and assign an edict. Uh, how's the... Ha happiness is good. Happiness is good, so let's get rid of that corruption. Now, we can assign another governor, but we don't have enough money. Uh, but I'll probably put it in this province. Yeah, we don't, we don't have enough money. The cost... I think it's around 500? 525. So, so be it. Money's a problem. Whew. Okay. Hmm. We got... Okay, yeah. He's gonna go around. We'll auto-resolve. We'll take a protective stance. Let him take it. Saxon dogs. I mean, there's a reason why they're the Anglo-Saxons. <laughs> they can have it. I don't care. We Dude, come on. Do fat My allies must hate blunt. me. Where are these allies? They're like... Whatever. Okay. My lord would have me Military alliance? They'll offer 400 gold? Absolutely. I will, I will be more than happy to take you in as an ally. Just join my wars and fight for me. Alright, so this is a problem. There's not much we can do here. I'm just going to accept defeat. I mean, we could fight and try our best here, but... There's really no point. We do need to- we do need to make our stand though. And again, I think I'm gonna make my stand kind of where our, uh, governors are holding. Wherever we have governors, we will not lose. Okay, so where exactly is that? Right here. We cannot lose here. This is- this army's a problem. So, we need to start shifting down these forces. We're going to head them down. They're going to group up. And we're going to make our stand right here. Now, they could go for this city up here, which could be a problem. But, again, we're just going to lose territory. And just keep on losing territory. That's just how it's going to go. I swear I'm giving these guys these... These traits. I don't know if that's a glitch or something. Alright, so... Again, we'll keep this army up here in the north. But you, sir, need to move down. Let's have you go here. Let's see if we can... Yeah. You'll hold up here. We're gonna have to recruit more troops. This is a big army. The Fist of the Empire. <sighs> okay. That Well, that's kind of a scary name. Are we under threat in the Iberian Peninsula? Well, we've got these idiots over here, and they could easily attack here and move into the Iberian Peninsula. The reason I say, are we under threat, is because I would love to just disband this army. At your command. I really would. I really would. Yeah, I, you know what? I think I'm going to disband it. I'm going to disband the forces. We need the money. We need the money. So this is what I'm going to do, guys. Disband these troops. Hopefully this isn't disaster. That's going to greatly improve our economy. And now we're down to three armies. And with these three armies, we will hold. Okay? I promise you that. But... We need to kind of focus on these regions. Okay, first off, let's assign our governors. Like I said, where we assign our governors is where we're going to, um, you know, kind of make our stand. So how, do, how do I go to governors? How exactly do I do that? <laughs> let's see. Family, summary. Oh, here we go. Okay, I found it. Governors. So, let's also get a governor here. 
And we will put in, I guess, this 18-year-old. There we go, finally. We got one of the 18-year-olds in there. Alright, so we have a governor there. Let's put a governor in kind of um, in the side islands here. I'm drawing a blank on the name of them. It's where Napoleon's from. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we'll put in another governor. Boom. So we have governors all in the heartland, so to speak, of uh, Rome. And this, I will not lose this land here. I will not lose it. I'll lose a little bit of Spain. I'll lose Northern uh, Africa. I can lose some of this. Lose some of modern day France. Corsica. Corsica. That's that's what I was looking for. Anyways. Um, yeah. So I'm happy about that. But we have some edicts to give out. So let's do that. Here. Now how's the happiness? Not great. So we're going to go with happiness and food. And the other edict that we can give out is over here. How's the happiness? Not great. So, happiness and food. We're handing it out. Uh, let's go for plus 40 with food. And I'm just going to focus on the buildings that I'm going to try to hold. The scary thing is we don't really have an army over here. That's the super scary thing. Now, we can expand upon these settlements. But we're not going to do it just yet. Let's go for anybody else that we can. Because we still have 3,000 gold. Let's see, can we. Well, should we improve this? I don't think so. Let's get you down here. Okay, I mean, I guess we could expand about. Yeah, sanitation, that's always good. We'll go with that. Let's improve that sanitation. We'll save the rest of our funds for now, and we'll end the turn. We can still assign a governor. Okay. Let's see, where else should we hold? Maybe over here? Yeah, sure. We'll put a governor over there. And we'll assign... How about you? You're 38. Yes, let's let's finally have someone who, who could... Like, most of my governors have been, like, 18 years old. You know that's a problem. They have no reason... No, no, no way should they be a governor. All right. So now that we have this, how are they? They're actually pretty happy. See, where are all your regions? Yeah, they're they're pretty happy. So, again, let's go for the corruption or research rate. Ooh, research rate would be pretty good. Let's go for that research rate. We can still assign a governor. Hmm. I guess we'll also try to hold Maxima up here. Yeah, we should try to hold that. Or you know what? We could try to hold... Let's... My bad? Okay. Misclick. Yeah, we're going to hold Lugdunius over here. So let's put a governor. And again, when I say we're going to hold, I mean wherever we have a governor, I'm going to make sure we don't lose ground there. Okay. And hopefully that makes them happy. Let's see. Here's the territory. They're actually very upset. So, bread and games it is. Try to make them happy. Can we build anything? Okay, we have a church being built there. That should help with the happiness a little bit. Let's see, what about the other cities? There's nothing really else we can build. We're going to save the rest of our funds. We can still assign a governor, but I don't have enough funds. So, we're going to end the turn. So, we've assigned governors to a big chunk of territory in our empire. We are constantly losing territory. The Saxons are taking over. Ooh. Okay. This is big. This is big. Wow, they have a lot of archers. Is this a garrison force? I think we're going to try to fight this one. Let's, let's try to fight it. Yeah, let's go for it. I don't think we're going to win this, but we're certainly going to try. What's the biggest threat of this army? The Axemen and the Archers, I would say. So we need to try to take care of the Axemen and the Archers. But it does look like we have a solid defensive position. So, uh, like fortification. It looks like there's three choke points we can hold. They're probably only going to attack two. Most of their army is spears. I think we might have a chance of holding against these Saxon scum. Alright, so what can we do here? 
to improve our chances of winning. They are attacking from this side. The archers, the Nordic bows. Oof. And then over here as well, mercenary Saxon spears. Okay, well... We can... We can put one barricade. We might as well put it here. So we'll put a barricade there. And then we have deployables. And I think I'm just going to put the deployables... Kind of... Let's see, where is their cav? Do they have cav? I don't think they do. So let's lay out these traps. Just right in front. That way we know it hits them. Boom. Like that. And then we'll do the same thing. See, they're probably going to hit here and maybe here. I mean, they could go all the way around, but I think they're mostly going to hit here. Boom. Okay. And then I, I guess we'll just put in some cow traps. Might as well use it all. Put some spears here. Okay. So, let's now set up our forces. What do we got? We got some swords... Got some spears, archers, and cav. Now, my cav, I'm going to deploy far away. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to sneak behind them and get their archers. My archers, I want you to hold here. And the other archer, hold here. You might move later. My garrison general, you're going to stay alive. And uh, we're going to put my spears mixed in with the swords. Mixed in with the spears. That's going to be our line right there. Okay, and the same thing over on this side. Let's see, what do we have left? Okay, cool. So we got the two spears here. Uh... We'll put my sword... You know what? We'll put the spears here and here. And then have my swords close behind. We'll go ahead and group up these guys. Let's not lock it, though. So, don't don't lock. How do I... How do I... Oh, gotta do this. Okay, no. It's not what I... It's not what I wanted. Okay. I think that's pretty solid. I'm pretty happy about that. Let's go. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward. Wait for them to get them to push forward. So they they do have one archer here who's going to extreme flank. Oh, this is good. This is good. Ooh, they could go around here. That's the problem. All right, let's press play. There's some javies. Oh, my God. This is a huge army. All right, get moving, Cav. All right, they're going to capture my arrow towers. Not much I could do about that. Let's just hope none of them attack over here. If they do attack on three of our choke points, we're done. Because I'm going to have to send in... I don't know. Nothing. I have nothing. I want those archers, though. The Javis, I'm not too worried about because they probably won't use them right away. Like, they, they're going to probably send in infantry and then, you know, start using the javies. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, please say it isn't so. Please tell me you are not a... T you are a... T oh, you, son you son of a gun. Okay, we got a situation. You got to go over there. Sure enough, they are moving this way. Well, the good news, none of them are attacking over this way. Let's go, swords. You stay here for now. There's a lot of skirmishers that I, I'm waiting. I'm waiting patiently for. I'm going to... Oh, they're getting the arrow tower. But I'm going to move my archers over to this side. Alright, Cav, go up here. 
My swordsman just barely made it in time. My units are already fleeing. There's no way I'm going to win this battle, but at least I'm trying. I'm going to go ahead and send my general up here. What the heck? I am desperate. Go ahead and fire at their general with my archers. They're burning down my city. <laughs> oh, man. This is not going well. My men just collapse by the sheer sight of the enemy. I'm going to have to send in my general. I'm going to charge their archers. Oh, man. <laughs> This is going to be brutal. Kill the archers. Quickly kill them before the spears come. There we go. Enemy forces Run. destroyed an entire unit. The enemy refuses to admit defeat. Their unit has rallied. I'm impressed we're still holding over here. Ah, my garrison forces suck. No, Spears, I'm not. I don't care. Ah, oh, my cab's breaking. It's these dang arrow towers. They take control of them, and it's just game over. Here, shoot at their bows. Ah, that's it. That's all I got, guys. I don't know how else I could have won that. I also like the role play, and I will continue to role play with these battles. I'm never going to cheese too hard. Uh, I might suicide charge my cabin. Oh, hey, the spears are walking away. Good on them. Thank you, spears. Get them, boys. Get them. Make Rome Roman again. Focus on the general. Yeah, I don't even think we're going to kill these archers. The spears, they, they're they like, let's leave the archers to fight on their own. Uh, we're breaking them, but they're going to live. All right, that's game. Not game, but that's battle. They're holding. We're holding very well over here. Our men flee the field of battle. I can I can try to hold with the unit on this side. What are they doing? Oh, they they went this way. Hold the line. Well, we tried our darndest. Men are broken and running for their lives. Men are All right, get us out of here. Get us out of here. So that's another city gone. We really need to consolidate our forces. This is uh, this is kind of terrifying. This is pretty terrifying. Oh, decapitated. Yeah, we killed six hundred of them. Almost 700 of them. War. We will make your home Dude, what? <laughs> Despoil your women, enslave your children, and desecrate your ancestors' graves. Dude. Come on. There's no way to retreat either. All right, well, let's fight another battle. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, there's not there's not much I can do. Um, I you know with my idea of like giving up territory and consolidating, I mean I knew I had to do that, but I didn't think I had to do it so quickly. And we're like, what is this turn four or something? And this is crazy. Uh, so they're coming over from this way. I guess we'll put a barricade here. Um, 
I mean... General. Let's put the general in reserve. To we'll put enemy. two spears here. I mean, we could hold like that. No, we'll hold like this. Spear infantry, ready. We'll throw it. We'll do the same strategy. I mean, at this point, we're just trying to kill as many as possible. We'll put an archer on this side. And we'll put an archer over on this side. Cav, I wish you were Vanguard. I wish you could spawn behind them. But same thing with Cav. We'll try to we'll try to kill them from the rear. Uh, let's put deployables here. Slow them down on the arrow tower. And we'll put deployables here. Boom. Put some cow traps here. And we'll put some stakes. I guess. You know what? We'll put some stakes right here. Okay. Definitely gonna have to use all those traps. Gonna need it. I feel like their archers are just gonna annihilate me. Like, they have so many skirmishers, so there's not much we can do. Oh my god! Their army is massive. There's no way we're going to win. We're just going to try to kill as many as possible. Oh, charge in. Nice. Well, we killed a bunch of Cav. The enemy, we don't stand a chance. The enemy, no, we, we do not stand a chance. No, we don't, do we? The tower has been totally go, Cav, go. And it looks like they're... Are they actually going to attack over here? No? We'll just move the general over there just in case. We gotta go get those archers. Romans! Brave Romans! Let us not fall to such reckless hate. Yeah, hold archers. Hold, hold, hold. I'm coming. I'm sending Cav right now. There is a squadron of Cav moving in. Riders, advance. There we go. Scout and witches. Forward. Yes, give them hell. Show them no mercy. Run them down! Run them all down! Scout and witches. Okay. Oh, this general unit's gonna be tough. But we killed a lot of them. Come on, Cav. I know there's a lot of archers, but you got this. Uh, I think my calf's gonna lose. What is it saying? I don't know. Can't, I don't know what this means. Does it mean they're winning? Please. At least I'm keeping the archers busy. We're at, oh, we're actually doing decent. I'm not saying we're gonna win. How are they capturing? They're not. Uh, I'm gonna send my general over here. There we go, Cav. There we go. Nice. All right. Concentrate everything on this next unit. Come on. Hold, you brave bastards. Hold. The general, the garrison commander is coming over to watch. Give inspiration. Uh oh. Our general is being attacked. Keep him alive. That's all right. He's here to give uh, inspiration. Come on, Cav. Kill these Germanic bows. They're like barely dying. 
Are right, you guys out of ammo? Well, you're now infantry. Same thing over here. You're now infantry. As you come on. Our men have given up and are running for their lives. Come on, come on, break them, break them, break them, break them, break them. All right, kill these archers. Run them all down. There you go. Oh, you guys broke. It's just too many. I mean, I knew I was going to win the battle. I do think my army did better than expected. We'll just fast forward. At the very least, I'm killing their archers. There we go. Let's go for that archer now. Boom. I guess we can try to go for their general. Enemy forces have destroyed an entire unit. Yeah, that's game. My flank is has fallen. The men have broken and are fleeing. Ah, the general got away. There we go. All right. Oof. All right. Well, I think guys, we're going to have to call it an episode here. What an episode though. I know it feels like we're losing this campaign, but it's only just begun. This is to be expected. We're going to lose a lot of territory. It's going to suck, but it is what it is. We must consolidate. I, I, at this point, I am literally trying to get all of my forces back to Italy. Must get to Italy. Everyone is at war with us, Pretty, if that's what it feels like. Uh, but we have to do everything in our power to keep Rome, the city itself, afloat and alive. Now, obviously, if we lose too many cities, it's going to hurt our economy. It's going to hurt our food, but it is what it is. Um, and we got to slowly take back what is ours. Okay, so just quick little view of what's going on. They did not take our city. They sacked it. We can... Well, we just got to get everyone back. And it's winter time, so that's good. Maybe it'll slow down some troops. I don't know. We need to recruit. As many... Oh, wow. Yes, that's really good. Well, okay, let's let's mix it up a little bit. Let's not get all swords. Let's Swords are really good, but these spears are good too. A good defensive unit. Wow, we can get so many in one turn. That's great. Uh let's See, food consumption minus 50 nationwide, but wealth is really good. You know what? I think we need to get better military. I'm actually going to... I thought I was going to go civic, but we need to get that good old military going. So we're going to recruit a bunch of troops here. This army is going to move down um, as quickly as possible. And this army will stay up here for now, but we might move them down to Italy. So we have two armies moving down to Italy. We need to hurry up because this is scary. This is a nasty force. And, of course, let's not forget about the Saxons and the, all their allies. So, uh, But, yeah, we're going to wrap up the episode here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. Uh, our plan here, like I said, consolidate, consolidate near northern Italy. Hold important structures. Kind of hold the, uh, the mountains here. Hold these mountains. Hold back the barbarians. And once our armies become very powerful, we push back. We push back, dang it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time on the battlefield.